time to tell you how to spend your entire weekend on the couch. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to tell you how to spend your entire weekend on the couch. With the butt groove the guide. The butt groove guide. Um, so here's how it works. We are working out of the assumption that you have three screens at your availability, a television, a computer, and a phone. Mm -hmm. If you got more than that, become a subscriber. Cool. Good for you. Um, but we will have uh, a lot to get to here because uh, it's a big loaded week of games on Texan Live as well as college action across the state of Texas. So let's start tonight, Thursday. Dateline. Six o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, on uh, Texan Live, you can listen to Trevor Bullard call Katie and Katie Taylor. Now, Katie's a favorite in this game, but if you want to get some eyes on them before the before the season, uh, before we get to the playoffs, certainly keep an eye on that one. Uh, over at Pridgen, Tom Venny is going to have Cy Woods and Cy Springs. Um, that is going to be a, a an important game there in that kind of wild District 16-6A. Uh, and... At, with all respect to Tom and Trevor there, clear out the big screen because at 6.30, we've got Cy Ranch and Cy Park. Michael Silver's on the call, but our very own Greg Tepper making his color commentary debut tonight. Go heckle him. Look at that. Look at him. Are you so excited? I did some research and everything. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm excited. It'll be fun. Michael Silvers and I have been talking a lot, and we're excited about it. Uh, I just realized the game kicks at 6.30, so i got to hurry. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> but yeah. yeah, clear the decks. Here's your butt groove guide. 6.30, big screen. Hear Tepper's dulcet tones. That way we can all make fun of him on Monday uh, with how he did. Are you excited? You are? I am excited. No, Good. I'm really excited to do the game. Um, very excited. Are you, does... Here, here's a question because this mm -hmm. is how it was for me because that last time was my color commentary debut. It was really weird at this portion of doing broadcasting stuff to be doing something that I had never done before. Mm -hmm. Is is it that way for you as so, well? So I have done a little bit of color. Uh huh. Uh, in fact, I did some color on ESPN at one point uh -huh. with um, the um, International Bowl, which was USA Football's kind of big showcase at AT and T Stadium. They were looking for literally a warm body. Right. <laughs> and so I've done it a little bit. It's difficult. It's a different muscle memory, as mm -hmm. I've as I've, I've told you. Um, to me, I'm always of the opinion that, um, and I think you're kind of wired the same way. Mm -hmm. um, just research, research, research. Know these teams in and out. Know everything that you're supposed to do. Ask a bunch of questions. D sound dumb to the coach. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Um, and, and just get as much information as you can. That's going to help lead you to a better broadcast. And hopefully I'll be, hopefully preparation will make up for any sort of like, Absolutely. Like lack of talent. Well, and it's funny because what I realized after like you do the first half and then you're like, oh man, I didn't even have to think about what I was saying because no. it's all right there. Right. It's no, all right I'm there. so excited to watch. Um, LP and I will be watching. Well, that's very kind of you. Um, I will also tell you um, another game to keep an eye on tonight. Seven, seven o'clock at Buckley Stadium. Tommy Yarish on the call on Texan Live. Belton and, Sh and Killeen Shoemaker. Okay, Belton's at three and two in District Twelve Six A. Shoemaker's at two and three. Uh, Belton can clinch a playoff spot with a win. Shoemaker can throw a wrench in the spokes if they want to go out there and uh, and and pull what would be I would say a a small upset. Um, that game is at Shoemaker. A lot on the line there. So if you're into that kind of thing, then make sure you're there. Friday! Dateline! 6 o'clock, you've got Katie Maid Creek and Katie Seven Lakes at, Le at Legacy, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, 7 o'clock when things get really serious. Okay, big screen. I want you to do Katie Pato and Manville. Mm -hmm. Pato, of course, sent a big message last week with their s just slobber-knocking win over uh, Fort Bend Hightower. If they beat Manville tonight, and especially if they beat Manville like they did with Hightower, watch stinking out um things could get very very interesting there and you could start talking about them in big 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 terms so keep an eye on that one that game i want you to put on the big screen on your second screen and i can't believe i'm saying this i want you to have a task seat in north shore on your second screen <laughs> i know what a wild week i know um that game's going to be awesome your miles may vary if you're more of into six eight and five those are the top two those are the two yep. you got to have absolutely got to make sure you have that i probably don't need to tell you that uh, a task seat in north shore is going to be awesome it's going to be a lot of fun, so keep an eye on that one. And I think we'll have highlights from both of those games with, like, sound from the coaches and everything mm -hmm. on Bally Sports yes. Southwest, too, if you want to catch up on one of them. So things get interesting from there. Um, on your third screen, I'm going to give you a couple of options, okay? On your third screen, you can do Clear Springs and Dickinson. It's mm -hmm. a massive week on Texan Live, guys. Clear Springs and Dickinson. You can do Magnolia West and New Caney. That game's huge. 
You can also do Shadow Creek and Pearland, Pearland. Yeah. <laughs> which is huge. You can also do, at 7.30, the weirdo non Week 10 non-district game between Wimberley and Grapevine. That was a makeup game. Yeah, they weren't. It was supposed to be Wimberley's bye week, and they added it yeah. literally Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Both teams had an open date because I think they got canceled on. Yeah. And they were like, you want to go? You want to meet in Belton? So they're, they're going to go there. They're going to go uh, down there in, in, in or Belton, Robinson, somewhere. Yeah, they're in Belton. Or Belton. Robinson. Robinson. It got Robinson. switched to Robinson. Yeah. So keep an eye on that one. That one's, you know, incredible. Um, you also got Cl Klein Collins and Tomball Memorial. So, like, look, Texas City PNG. I mean, it's a guys, it's a it's remote a clicker. Ludicrous, <laughs> ludicrous week. I need you to be locked into Peyto and Manville. I also need you to be locked into North Shore and and and, and Atascosita. The other three, you got, or the other third screen, you got your pick. Also, make sure you have a screen set aside for Valley Sports Southwest. Yes. There you go. Great. Good job. <laughs> Saturday! Date line! It's a fun, fun Saturday. Of course, 11 a.m. I need you to kick things off uh, watching um, ba -ba 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 -ba, watching Texas and Baylor. Yes. Texas and Baylor is an 11 a.m. kick. That game is on uh, the A, B, and C. And so I need you to go uh, watch that one at 11. I believe there's one other game at 11. Yeah, um, it's, it's Tech. It's, uh, tech. Oh, no, it's Texas State and Louisiana. Oh, okay. That game is on ESPNU for your edification, if that is your type of thing, if you're glutton for punishment. Um, one o'clock is where things get interesting, okay? You got Cy Fair and Cy Ridge on Texan Life, mm -hmm. and you got uh, 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 Houston Memorial and, and Cy Creek. You can do that. One o'clock, you also have... North Texas and Rice. North Texas and Rice. You got the Sickos Bowl. Okay? <laughs> yes. Got this week's Sickos Bowl. Um, <laughs> Sickos Bowl. You can also watch um, Howard Payne and um, and uh, Harden Simmons. Yeah, that's the game to watch. That game's on uh, <laughs> HPUsports.com. You can watch that one. Two o'clock's where things get a little bit hairy because I absolutely positively need you to be watching Tom Ball and Clank Kane. That game's at 2 o'clock on, on, um, with Gavin Moritz on the call. I think Magnolia and New Kenny Porter could be fun too. Both those games are at 2 o'clock on Texan Live. 2.30. Um, so here's the thing at 2.30. If you want to watch an anxiety bowl, you can watch TCU in Kansas State. Mm -hmm. If you want to see Sonny Cumbie's head coaching debut, you can watch Tech in Oklahoma. That both those games are ugly. two. The, both those games are two thirty. I don't know if I can highly recommend either of them. TCU and Kansas State probably is going to be the more competitive game, mm -hmm. but it's a huge anxiety bowl because if they lose this game, they are really, really swimming upstream to make a bowl. So basically, you should watch the high school games because those are the mm -hmm. last games of the day on Texan right. Live. <laughs> Five o'clock. UTEP goes to FAU. Let's go. Picks up, uh, as you will see in our. Uh, as you will see in, in our college football burning questions, UTEP has not fared well in the Eastern time zone. We'll see how things go. They, they can make a history FAU. with it. Let's go. Let's go, Miners. And then, of course, you got to clear out. Okay, you got to call ISO. Yeah. I don't care what you're doing. Mm -mm. Six o'clock, the big screen is reserved. Yes. ESPN2, Houston, and SMU. Houston and SMU is the game of the week by a long shot. Yes. And I think the winner of this game is probably the favorite to win the American Athletic Conference. Um, I think it is a... Tr a tremendous matchup of strengths and weaknesses in the sense that um, can these two secondaries, the SMU secondaries has especially been troublesome. Houston secondary is only okay. Uh, going up against all quarterbacks who are really feeling it right now. Uh, strength on strength matchup with the offensive line for SMU going up against the defensive line for or front seven rather for Houston. Awesome game. It's a pick em game. It is on ESPN2. You need to clear out and make sure you're watching Houston and SMU on ESPN2. The Deuce, 6 p.m. on Saturday. And that is how you can spend your entire weekend sitting on your couch. But good guide. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you would like more and to be notified when they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. You can also watch Texas Football Today every day live at noon on TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. For more of the best coverage of Texas football in the Lone Star State, go to TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.